what's going on YouTube so today I wanted to um, tell you guys my top seven tips for binge eaters now I know there's a lot of tips out there and yes they're correct but I just wanted to tell you guys what my personal tips are for those who binge okay tip number one is don't diet so if you binge eat and um, the main kind of I guess reason for your binging is because you know you have to stay on a clean diet, you need to you know, be careful what you eat. I suggest not doing that because that is why I always binged. Um, you know, counting calories, um, telling yourself that you have to eat really clean. That's like the reason why I started binge eating because I knew, okay crap, let me eat a lot of this chocolate because tomorrow I can't eat chocolate because I have to go on a diet. That's why do not diet, don't count calories, don't fully restrict yourself. So what I mean is like completely restrict, like don't 100% take everything out of your diet. Just eat healthy, but don't be too strict on yourself if that makes sense. So my second tip is talk to someone. So if you're struggling with um, binge eating or any type of eating disorder, you need to tell someone like, if you don't want to um, you know, tell your parents or your friends, you can always talk to a psychologist, a counselor, maybe a teacher. Um, one thing that I did is I didn't really tell anyone, maybe like one or two people knew, but not to the extent. And that, that does make it hard because you feel really lonely. You feel like all you have is food and you know no one knows what you're struggling with. So it's really good to at least you know tell your friend or tell a counselor because it just you just you don't feel so lonely anymore. So another tip I really, really recommend is do not isolate yourself. What I did was I didn't go to many events I you know bailed on people if I knew there was going to be a lot of food I wouldn't go or there have been times that I like got someone to message me to pretend something um, is going on so then I can show this other person and tell them that I can't go to their event if that makes sense it's so stupid but don't do it because I regret not going to so many things because you know because I was binge eating and I was scared I was going to eat too much and I was scared that you know people are going to see that I've put on so much weight and all that but in reality no one actually cares what you look like no one cares how much you're going to eat or what you're going to eat so don't isolate yourself because one day you're seriously going to regret it so my fourth tip is move on don't don't be sad that three days ago you ate three pizzas to yourself um that's the worst you can do is just you know, keep reminding yourself that last week you ate this much and now this week you have to starve. Just move on because tomorrow's a new day and you can you can restart. You don't have to wait till Monday or you don't have to wait until the first day of the month. Like you don't need to be scared that you had so much food last night that today you have to starve yourself. It doesn't really matter. Now my fifth tip is don't weigh yourself. I still sometimes have this problem, but I mean, recently I haven't been doing it. When you eat a lot, let's say you go out to an event, you have a lot of food, dessert, do not weigh yourself the next morning because chances are you might be like a kilo more on the scale. You have not put on a kilo of fat. It's just water weight um, that will be gone in, few, in a few days. So the other day, because I had this one week where I ate out four or five times, I had donuts, I had lots of sushi, chicken parmigiana, and I weighed myself and it said I was 64 kilos. And then a few days later, I'm back to 62. So I didn't really put on fat, if that makes sense. So stay off the scales. So tip number six is if you're really craving something, just have it. So... If I'm really craving um, some chips, sometimes, you know, I'll just go have a bowl of chips. It doesn't really matter. Um, back in the day, I realized, you know, when I was really craving something, I would try to put it off. So I would eat other stuff to try and get rid of that craving, but then I'd keep eating and eating and eating and I will binge and I've satisfied that craving, but I've eaten like 4,000 calories in a period of a few hours so if you're just really craving something just do it when I first stopped binge eating in that one like 
in a period of five days, I was craving ice cream maybe twice and I went to the petrol station and bought that ice cream and I had it. And then I wasn't craving sugar for the next few days because I satisfied that craving. And my last tip is work out. So I don't mean go to the gym for four hours a day. I mean just work out at least three times a week. Go for a jog, um, go hiking with friends, you know, go to the gym, do some... Uh, do a circuit, just do anything, get moving because even if you did binge and you work out, you're going to feel better and it's just going to improve your mood. Um, you won't really put on all this weight from binging because you are going to be burning it off as well. So when I was binge eating during a time, I wasn't even working out. So kind of, I was putting on weight and putting on weight. Um, which is okay, I'm not saying like you're a bad person because you don't work out, but if you do work out at least three times a week, you're going to feel so much better about yourself and your mood is going to improve. So guys, that's my seven tips about binge eating and basically what I learned and what helped me and I really hope that will help one of you guys. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.